I backed this alpaca tech element pouch on Kickstarter a few months ago, and when it's ready, I was offered to purchase all these extras at such irresistible price, so I bought more. I bought the alpaca phone sling pouch and the stealth belt. Hi everyone, this is Richard and welcome to another Sky Perspective video. For full transparency, I bought all these using my own money, but I am an affiliate of Alpaca at the time of this video, and my affiliate links are in the description down below. Thanks for using those links to support my channel. In this video, we are going to focus on just this Alpaca phone sling pouch, and I'll showcase the stealth belt tech element pouch and its accessories in other future videos. I'll share them at the end of this video when they are ready. You know what to do if you don't want to miss out. This is my Osprey Daylight Sling. I put my alpaca phone sling pouch in it. It's pretty easy for me to get my phone in the alpaca phone pouch. And because of the designs of both these sling pouches, I don't need to worry about things accidentally falling out. And if I want to carry less and leave my Osprey Daylight Sling in the car, I can convert this into a sling pouch on its own and just carry my phone and wallet with me. These two velcro stripes are meant for us to attach the alpaca phone pouch to another bag, but I use them to secure the carrying stripe. Pretty handy. When I first tried out using my Galaxy S21, my S21 has already reached the top of the pouch, and my S21 is not even that gigantic S21 Ultra. It's the 6.2 inch base model. So I wondered how will those 6.8 or even 6.9 inches phones fit? For example, the latest Galaxy S22 Ultra and iPhone 13 Pro Max that many of you are thinking of buying or have already bought might not be able to fit this pouch. So here it is. I've got myself an iPhone 13 Pro Max and a Galaxy S22 Ultra. What do you folks think about my new flagship phones? Well, at least this represents their actual sizes. Sorry, I can't afford to buy the actual phone, but I wanted to test it out for all of you. So here we go. It fits quite nicely into this alpaca phone pouch. But do take note, the phone will be jutting out a bit. The good thing is that the cover can still shut without being stretched. Both the iPhone 13 Pro Max and the Galaxy S22 Ultra are about the same size. The S22 is just about 3mm longer. Now take note that my iPhone and Galaxy S22 dummy phone is without a case. I think with a tin case, it should still be able to fit in this alpaca phone pouch. This is the approximate inner dimension. Having an alpaca phone pouch like this one, I'm thinking of ditching my phone case, just to admire the beauty of the naked phone. I've always been dreaming of using a phone without its case, but never dare to do it. Now with this alpaca phone pouch, I might give it a go. What would you do if you were me? Is the phone pouch enough? Would you risk not having a phone case? Let me know in the comments down below. Putting on the sling clip is a bit fiddly I must say, because of this spring clip design. I realise squeezing the plastic catch down a bit makes it a lot easier to hook on the stainless steel spring catch. I like that the sling stripe is removable so that I can replace it with something like the alpaca stealth belt if I want to. The design of this sling pouch is really handy. It sits nicely on our hip area. 
The sling strap material is pretty smooth too, and easy to adjust. Once we get the sling pouch onto the right height, retrieving the phone and my wallet is so easy. Look at how fast I can get my phone and wallet out and put them back. In case you are wondering, this is my key holder. The brand of this key holder is called Lockdown Keys. It's an Australian brand and I think it's better than the typical Bellroy Orbit Key or Smart Key key holders, simply because none of them have this side clip. I love this side clip and I use it to clip it onto my pants pocket and now on the side of this alpaca phone pouch. And this is my card holder wallet, which is quite worn out already. Its ladder is starting to flick off. So if any manufacturer out there would like to sponsor me or send me a card holder wallet, contact me using my channel's about page. On the back of this phone pouch, there are velcro stripes for us to attach it to another carrying bag. We can attach it both horizontally or vertically to a larger sling bag or perhaps a backpack. Now on to the insides of this pouch. I feel it would be nice if the inside of this pouch is lined with those velvety fleece material instead of this regular nylon material. It's still good enough, I think. It's just that if there are fleece lining to protect the phone, I most likely would store my phone in this pouch without its phone case. Yes, I'm still dreaming of using my phone without its case. I'll be making other videos on the Alpaca Stealth Belt, Tech Element Pouch and its accessories soon. They should be appearing on the screen now, if not, I'm still making them. So do check out my previous Alpaca Bravo X videos too. You take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!